in the in the bini in the biningging yeah in the in in the listen properly in in the biningging yeah in 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 the biningging in the biningi in in the bi in in the biningging let me help you out brother in the beginning there was <laughs> see that's the problem that's the problem right there we never want to address this issue we want to tiptoe around it and sweep it under the rug and by doing this we allow culture to define what sex is and not the word of god when you take something and when you isolate something and you don't deal with it the enemy will distort it and in this case pervert it sex was god's idea uh-huh read your bibles they was in there getting it on like rabbits okay it started with adam and eve in the beginning he told them to be fruitful and do what multiply you know the story you know the story how did you and i get here how did you and i get here you had a mama and a daddy and they had sex and while i magic here you go see sex is a covenant by god it's a bond that is supposed to be for one man and one woman your husband and your wife you didn't know that let's talk see we need to know the severity of sex and how we can destroy you if it's used out of content okay let me say this listen sex is bad it's good actually it's really good okay but when you use it out of content out of marriage then it becomes a sin and it can be a deadly sin let me tell you sex is one of those biggest issues that we all struggle with that we all deal with and yet we don't even talk about it do you, you know that a piece of paper don't make you mad do you know that beautiful wedding ceremony it don't make you mad do you know how you marry a person you know how you consummate your marriage it's through sex yeah so so it's a it's a it's a physical act it's skin to skin okay it's also emotional because at that moment you are intimate with that person you are one with that person whether it's for five seconds or five minutes you are one it's also spiritual because it's a covenant a covenant by god and it's a blessing by god do you know that every time you lay down with someone and have sex with them you marry them without a covenant did you know that Yeah. See, this was supposed to be a bond, never broken. It was for one. You're supposed to be intimate with this one person. And every time you lay down with somebody that's not your husband and not your wife, it rips away and it takes a part of you. It do. It takes a part of you. So you sitting in here in the neighborhood, in your neighborhood, there's a people walking around with a whole bunch of pieces of you. Oh, you don't think? You don't think so? How come the last time when you saw Ed at the grocery store, you ain't seen him in 10 years, and you got that feeling in your stomach? Uh-huh, you did. It's called a soul tie, baby. Let me talk to you. This sex is very, very, very powerful. I was doing some little research, and I discovered that 60% of American teens, before they graduate high school, they are sexually active. 80% of them learn about sex through their peers, TV, and the internet. So that means that parents, you are not talking to your child. That means that they're not learning from educators. That means that they have no clue about biblical about the biblical knowledge of sex at all. So let me ask you this. Who educated you on sex? Hmm? Was it your big uncle? Your pimp uncle, your big cousin, your crazy auntie. Did you learn it in your Sunday school? Let me talk to you. See, when I was coming up, 
My dad will always tell me, teach, 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 teach. Stay away from sex. Don't do it. It'll destroy your life. Wait until you get married. Y'all heard the same thing, right? And I didn't know the depth of sex. So I'm going to turn you on. This is for my young folks. The enemy wants you to start this early. Okay, he wants you to start having sex early. So when you are in a, when you're trying to discover yourself all through high school, you are having sex with him and you're very active and you're having sex with her. And all through your 20s, you are very active and you're having sex with him, him, him and her and her. And then in your 30s, you're ready to settle down and now you get married, but you're not right because you have married over 100 people already. So even though you're trying to do right by this 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 one person, you still can't get right because you got all kinds of sexual issues. There's so many pieces out there of you. Okay? And this right here will be passed down from your chip to your children and to your children's children. And we create this generational curse. Let me talk to you. And the enemy's so slick. Let me share something with y'all. I had to be about 11 years old. Okay, can I keep it real with y'all? And um, I was at one of my loved ones' house. And uh, we had VHS back in the day. We had the VHS, the, 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 the tapes, okay? And um, I had watched all the movies there. So I went into the bedroom and grabbed one of the movies. And it didn't have nothing on it. And I put it in. And bam, there was porn. The first time I seen porn, okay? It blew my mind, but it made me curious. So every time I find myself at this loved one's house, I'm sneaking off when I'm by myself and I'm putting on this porn. And see what the enemy try to do is create this image and implant and this seed in your head of how sex should be when it's not given by God. <laughs> listen, listen, if you are struggling with this. If you're dealing with this, you don't even know what you're doing. You're just going through the mo, through the through the, through the through the motion and having sex with all these different people. Let me help you. I am just a host. I abstracted all of this information from my brother, Pastor Mike Todd. Okay, and I was listening to different sermons, and I'm gonna turn you on to these. But if you are struggling with this, I need you to go and watch Sex Container by Pastor Mike Todd, Part Six. Okay, if you if you don't get it from there, I'm gonna turn you on to TD Jakes Straight Up Sex. That's what for the men and for the ladies. I'm gonna give you an oldie but goodie. Go and watch Why Need Them Buy Them No More Sheets. This is a tool I'm trying to turn you on. I only got five minutes to give it to you, and I can't give it all to you in five minutes. Submit your sexuality back to God and ask Him for His help with this. Okay, it's not a secret. It's all around us. Okay. You see it on the billboards. You see it on the internet. You see it. You hear it all on the songs. It's all around us. Okay. God loves you. Thank you for allowing me to pour the tea of love, inspiration, and motivation. It's your girl, your big homie, TT. Y'all tune in next week and see what God going to do as you can see. I have no idea, but this I do know. You might not need this today, but save it in one of your files because you may get a text from Freaky Freddy or Big Booty Brenda, okay? And put this on and go back and listen to my brother, Pastor Todd, and see if he can help you and guide you because we have to contain this. You have to practice self-control because if you don't, it will destroy your life. Let me tell you, I've seen it with my own eyes. God bless you. I'll see y'all next week. Bye.